Today, we are going to show you how you can clear the cache for all apps on your Google or Android TV device running Google TV 12 or Google TV 14. Now, this doesn't involve any side loading of apps. It doesn't involve any purchasing of apps. It's already using a built in facility and it is very, very easy to do. Now, one of the downsides to installing an app to clear out your device means that you're actually putting more information on your app. So you're taking up space to put on an app to clear space. And the chances are the space you're going to recover, you'll probably use up by actually putting that app on. So it does seem a little silly. A lot of people say to me, well, how often should I clean out my device? How often should I clear out my cache? Well, I very rarely do it myself. I probably do it about once every six months. Or if I notice that I'm getting a lot of buffering or things are starting to slow down, then is the time I go through, clear out the cache, and hopefully that will solve any problems and speed things back up again. There's no need to do it that regular though. So in the past, what we used to have to do was we used to have to go through all of our apps and go down and go to clear cache, middle button on the remote. And then what we'd do is we'd go back, move on to the next app okay go down to clear cache middle button on the remote control or what we had to do was we had to purchase an app from the google play store or we'd have to side load an app but now thanks to android tv we've already got this facility built in so how do we get to it and how do we clear out all the apps well if you've got a settings button on your remote control then press that if not then go across to the settings cog just up in the top right hand corner and then you should see all settings go into all settings and then you want to go down to system and then across and down to storage and then you want to go across to internal shared storage and then you want to go across to apps and then you want to go down there to cached data highlight cache data as you can see i've got 571 megabytes of cache data not a lot to be quite honest with you but all i need to do is just make sure that that is highlighted middle button on the remote control and as you can see there it says clear cache data question mark this will clear cache data for all apps so make sure that ok is highlighted then press the middle button on the remote control and then that will clear all the cache data that it can clear now you might not notice the cache data go down immediately but give it a couple of minutes and it will go down like mine has and then if we just go up to apps and then we can see here if i go into see all apps and you can see here 3d mark the cache data has gone down if i go into five there yet yeah, the cache data has gone down there so it has gone through all of the apps these apps certainly had more than a few kilobytes or no cache data in them certainly like I say downloader did there you go that has been cleared out now clearing the cache data just to let you know that will only clear the temporary data it will not wipe out any settings any usernames and passwords it will just clear out temporary data data that's really not needed to be stored now don't go through clearing the data out on apps and i'll just show you where that is if i go back in there and go down to apps and to go to see all apps if i go to clear data there which is above clear cache and i clear that out that means it's going to clear out all of our settings it's for that app it's going to clear out the username password it's going to log us out we're going to have to log back in and we're going to have to probably set the app up again if we've made any customizations into that app so you really don't want to be clearing data unless you have a particular problem with that app then that just resets the app back to factory settings so clear cache is enough and as i say that is probably the easiest way to do that is to go through the system and then into storage and then into internal shared storage and then go to cache data, middle button on the remote control and then middle button again and that will clear that out. And like I say, it may take a minute or two for those that data to go down. It may look like it hasn't done much in the beginning, but 
give it a few minutes and it will certainly clear out. It does take some time to go through each app. So there you go. That is a quick and easy and completely free guide to clearing out your Google or Android TV.